Hello, Trubies and uh, non Trubies fans who are just watching this because it says Dragon Connor. Just curious what it says. Hi, I'm Shayna O'Connor and I'm from TrueBloodFansource.com. Uh, it's obviously a True Blood fan site, but I am here for Dragon Con 2013 and I just wanted to give you guys a quick video update. Uh, today is day three of Dragon Con. It's pretty much the last day for most mainstream programming. Um, a lot of the actors head home uh, today, and a lot you know, a lot of the activities. Today is the last day. Today was the last day for True Blood. Um, and if you are subscribed to our YouTube channel, thank you, all four hundred and something subscribers. I truly appreciate it. You'll notice that I have. Um, the first day of True Blood, the first day of Battlestar Galactica, and the second day of True Blood already uploaded. Uh, I am back in my hotel room now to work on putting up day two on my website, truebloodfansource.com of True Blood, and I'm also going to um, put Battlestar Galactica on my other website, girlinremote.com, which I don't update that often because I don't have a lot of time due to True Blood, but I actually have a lot of respect for Battlestar Galactica and I got into it um, last year and I was really excited to see uh, the cast members in person. I actually just met Edward James Olmos, which was awesome. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little video update. I hope that you like all the footage that I have posted so far and I'm really sorry if it's shaky. I mean my camera work I'm not a professional videographer. Um, I don't claim to be but I know that it's probably been a little bit difficult to watch some of my videos and I haven't in the past two days been able to get um, really clear shots in the True Blood panels except for in Battlestar Galactica because I was fortunate enough to be in the second row and no one was sitting in front of me. Um, and <clears throat> it's been really interesting this year at Dragon Con because this is my third year. Uh, the past two years I've gone in as an attendee uh, and this year I applied for media and I got approved um, to come as media. And I know that media at conventions really doesn't get you a lot because they don't, at every convention, they don't want to give media um, special attention over fans, which I understand, but I have the um, kind of unfortunate distinction of being both um, someone with a physical disability, which I don't normally like to talk about just because, you know, it's not really relevant to me and what I do um, on my websites. Um, so unless you see me in person, um, you know, <laughs> I don't talk about it. Um, and I also have this distinction of being media this year and I felt most thr mostly throughout the weekend like I was kind of being punished for being <laughs> media <laughs> and disabled in a way because, um, because I'm a fan site. Um, I didn't I wasn't allowed to um, conduct interviews with the actors or submit my request um, to interview actors ahead of time, which was disappointing because um, there are actors for True Blood here that, you know, this was their first convention ever, and, you know, I wanted to have time to just sit down and talk with them, especially since it's post-season six, but I really didn't get a chance to do it, and... The, inter the interview room that they have here at Dragon Con was full anyway before the convention started because all the approved media got to um, do, uh, got the request in and booked the interview room so I would have like, had to meet them off site and like all of this stuff. And I just thought to myself, um, yeah, that requires a lot of um, trust. Um, so. You know, it's been difficult, but this morning I finally got so frustrated in the True Blood panel because they would only let the disabled people sit starting um, the fourth 
um, the fourth row and back because I guess people were saying it's not fair that disabled people should get to like sit in the front. And I and I understand that, um, but I have to say, and I'll just say this: I rarely talk about um, my disability or um, stuff. You get like the things that I get because of my disability. I rarely take them. In fact, I'm encouraged a lot of the time to take it by my friends and family because I won't. I want to be just like everybody else. But in convention settings like Comic Con and like Dragon Con, I need, you know, um, a little bit of assistance. And at Dragon Con, they're wonderful because they provide seating for people so they don't have to wait in line and like stand. And standing in line for me is really painful for one of my feet. So if I can avoid it, I prefer not to. At Comic Con, I have to stand in line, and I've done. I've stood in line for a couple of hours, you know, waiting for different things in Ballroom Twenty. And I don't complain about it because that's just the way it is. But when I finally um, spoke up today and said, you know what, I think this is ridiculous. Um, I understand what people are saying, but, like, I'm trying to put, um, I'm trying to film all of this and take pictures and put it up on my website so that all of the people who um, go to my website and who go to my YouTube channel or, or just searching YouTube or whatever can watch these videos. I'm doing it for all of you guys. I'm not doing it for me because I get to be here and just listen to it. But I love it when people take the time to film stuff. And I really hate it when I have an, a, like an obstructive view. I'm also short. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of like sometimes I feel like I have like the trifecta. I'm media. I'm disabled. I'm short. Um, and it was really nice today because once I aired my frustration, I, I tried to be calm, but I was just really frustrated. Once I aired, you know, aired it, they let me sit so that I had an unobstructed view. I was like, you know, that's really all I wanted. I didn't want it. I understand that I can't get it for every panel, but come on, guys. Can't I just have one panel where I can see, like, everybody be unobstructed? And you'll notice if you watch the videos from today when I upload them that my camera work is probably better because there's no one in front of me. And I can really focus on the actors and all that stuff because ultimately that's what these conventions are about. They're about getting to meet all of these really, really cool people that you see on TV or you see wherever and in comics and say, hi, you know, my name is so-and-so and I really admire your work. Thank you for coming. You know, something like that. And that's what I love about Dragon Con. At Comic Con, you might not be able um, to do that necessarily just because it is so big, and you if you want to go to a panel, you have to sacrifice whether you want to go to the panel or try to get an autograph. So I think that, you know, having to go through that, even though it was frustrating and it is hard um, to deal with this kind of stuff, especially because this is not paid. Um, no one pays me to come and do this. I, you know, do everything... I'm gainfully employed, thankfully, and that's where I get a lot of the funding to to do to travel and do all of this stuff. And it's providing me with great life experience and things that I can use later on in my life, but it's also giving people who, who wouldn't otherwise get a chance, like when I posted the Once Upon a Time footage um, from Comic-Con. A lot of people around the world love that show, and they wouldn't get a chance to go and see it, and I was one of the first people to post, and a lot of the posts were, thank you for doing this, because I would have never been able to see it, and that's what I love. So, you know, it's it's that, that kind of thing that got me frustrated, but I'm glad that they finally heard my concerns, and it, it was, a, it was, a, it worked out, so... Um, I'm going to be trying to post news 
today as well, I hope. Um, but I met most of the True Blood people who came to the convention. I met Lauren, and I met Tara Buck, and I met Rutina. I didn't meet Jim or Janina because every time, it seemed like every time I was in the, in the room, it's called the Walk of Fame, um, you know, not everybody was there. And so I finally said, you know what, if they're not, if they're not there, I'm not going to sweat it because I've already, I met Jim in 2011, um, for my very first Dragon Con. So I already met him and I know that Janina is busy because she, um, is appearing on a couple of Arrow panels as well this weekend. So that's fine. Um, but I hope that you enjoy all of my coverage. I'm working very diligently to get it up. Um, and for all of you that are saying that you miss True Blood, I know I miss it too. That's kind of why I created this site, so I wouldn't miss it so much. Um, and I hope that I can continue to bring you um, lots of good coverage, and I hope that we'll be um, getting some good stuff to do uh, this fall. Uh, thank you all if you visit my website um, for visiting and reading the content. If you visit our YouTube channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your views and it's truly appreciated and all of your likes and subscribes and positive comments. Um, it really makes what I do worth it. So thanks. Bye.